In today's video, we're going to make an agenda accessible in Microsoft Word and PDF and upload it into the Streamline platform. This could be considered part two because this particular agenda is definitely more complex than what I covered in the first video. Welcome to the Accessibility Guy channel. My name is Sean Jordison and let's jump right in. If you followed along from our first video, we have already made half of this document accessible. We're going to work on the second part, uh, which includes a table and some color contrast issues that we're going to look at fixing. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my headings navigational panel by selecting the search bar and typing in navigation. And then the option that we have here is open the navigation panel and we have our heading level one, our heading level two, and our heading level three. We are going to make a sample agenda style two detailed table format, a heading level one. And then we're gonna apply the same type of formatting um, that we did before by applying a heading level two and then making sure we have our date, time, location. And then we have another Zoom link here. Uh, I'm going to take the hyperlink out, do control X on my keyboard. Um, and I need to put this hyperlink on clear and descriptive text. So I'm going to just highlight this whole thing, location, online Zoom link, right click it, select link, and in the address bar, I'm going to paste the link and then select OK. Next, we have a table. Now with tables, we have several different rules that should be uh, considered for making this table accessible. And one example of that is to use best practices. So best practices say that we should not use merged or blank cells for Microsoft Word specifically. But because I know I am taking this document over to PDF, I'm actually gonna go ahead and make this uh, row a merge cell. So I'm gonna select all of the cells, right click and select merge cells. This could be considered a table header when we take it into PDF. Um, now let's apply the rest of our details to make this table accessible. I'm going to click in the first cell and then on the table design tab, I'm going to ensure that I have the appropriate headers set. Right now I have header row, first column, and banded rows. In this particular example, my first column has timestamps. Uh, that's not really important to me to be a header, so I'm going to deselect the first column checkbox. I still have header row and banded rows. Next, I'm going to choose a table style from the table styles menu. And I like this plain table one option. And what it does is it highlights the header row with my bold text. And then the banded rows means that every other row will have a color applied to it. Now in this particular document, I'm actually going to leave this blue font um, because I wanna see if Streamline can pick it up. But normally I would fix it right here in Word. So let's go ahead and run the accessibility checker. Uh, I believe that we have applied all of our accessibility elements required. Uh, so let's go to file, info, inspect document, and then check accessibility. And in here we have, it says almost there, use of merged or split cells. So again, if this final document was in Microsoft Word, we would not have wanted to merge the cells. But because I'm taking it to PDF, there are different features that we can apply in PDF that will make this fully accessible in PDF. So I'm going to leave this as is for now. And interestingly enough, it actually did not flag this color contrast. I'm going to pull up the web aim color contrast checker. Uh, this is a checker that does not require an install on your computer. You can simply visit this web address um, and you can use the color picker in here or you can type in the hex value color of, of the color. But let's test out that blue. So I'm gonna use the color picker in here and I'm gonna come over to my blue font and select the blue. And right now we have a failure on WCAG AA and AAA. And again, what's interesting to me is that Microsoft Word did not flag this uh, under our hard to read text contrast. That's because you should never rely on automated scans. But we're gonna see if Streamline can pick it up. Let's go ahead and save our file and let's select the Acrobat toolbar. 
and then select create PDF and then select save. And now we can view our document from inside of Adobe Acrobat. Step one is to review the tags panel. I'm going to select the tags button on the far right corner. If for some reason your tag button isn't there, you can right click in this little panel and then select the accessibility tags button. Now what I like to do is walk the tags tree. We have our H1 tag, H2, our P tag that contains all of our elements. We have our H3 tag, followed by our list item with our nested list items. We have our heading level one, our heading level two, our online location, and then we have our table, which has our table rows in it. And what's nice is even though this table splits across pages, the PDF generator uh, caught it. And then we have this blank P tag. So now that we have validated that all of our tags are inside the PDF, let's go ahead and make sure our document properties are good. Let's select the menu button and then select document properties. And in our description tab, we need to set our metadata. So in here, I'm going to set our agenda complex part two. We have our author and our subject and then select OK. Let's go ahead and run the accessibility checker by selecting prepare for accessibility from the tools menu and then selecting check for accessibility. Make sure you have 32 of 32 categories selected and then select start checking. All right, it looks like we have a couple of issues. Uh, in our page content, we have tab order failed. Let's right click it and select fix and then select okay. And then let's go down to our tables. And here we have table regularity failed and we are also missing a summary. So let's fix the summary first. To fix the summary in Adobe Acrobat, we need to select the fix reading order tool from the prepare for accessibility tools. And then we need to right click inside of our table and then select edit table summary. And then you wanna put in the summary of this table. And I'm going to say uh, digital accessibility workshop series and then select okay and then select close. Now earlier when I was in Word, um, I was playing around with the regularity. So what I did is basically kind of broke the table a little bit. Let's go ahead and select the tags button and let's take a peek inside of our table data. So we have our table row, the very first one, and we have a table header, a table header, table header, table header. And then we have our second row. This looks great. And then we have our third row. Now, Adobe is mad at us because our other rows have four elements, but this row only has one. So we need to make sure that this one element covers like the rest of the, the areas. So let's fix this. I'm going to select fix reading order, right click inside of my table and select table editor. And inside of this cell, I need to right click, select table cell properties, and I need to change the column span from one to four so that it covers all of those columns and then select OK. Now we can save the file. Let's go back to our accessibility checker. I can simply select this little button on the far right hand side and let's right click the errors and say check again. And that fixed our table errors and our document is now passing our accessibility checker. Let's go ahead and take a moment and re upload this into Streamline to see our results. I'm going to come over to Streamline and select my content tab. Then I'm going to select the page that I want to upload it to. And from here, I'm going to select the edit button and let's go ahead and add in our file, add content element, select file, select insert, and then we're going to select and upload our file. Then we will select it and hit save and close. So it's now on our page, but I want to see if it's accessible or not. So I'm going to select the accessibility tab go over to our files button. And right now the document is actually being scanned. And now it's telling me it's not accessible. So let's select the not accessible button. And we have four failures. And in here we have parent tag of link annotation doesn't define the all attribute and link annotation doesn't define the contents attribute. And we have a total of four failures here. Um, so let's see what we can do to fix this file. I'm gonna go back to my agenda and I think I know what the error is. Let's select the tags button and I need to find these links on the page. And the first one is in this P tag here where I have zoom room. Uh, basically, we need to add alternate text to this link. I'm going to right click it, select properties, 
And under the alternate description for links, we need to add an alternate description. I'm going to put in a zoom room here and select close. And then let's find our other link. Here it is. We're going to right click the link tag, select properties, and then let's add in our alternate description for links. This will be a zoom room for session two and select close. And you know, I just realized that the accessibility checker did not flag this text as being incorrect. Uh, so this is just further proof that we need to manually test this content, but we can come in here and fix it. So I'm going to select my edit button and we're going to double click this text and let's change the font color to black and then let's save the file and we can close out of the edit box. Then we'll hit save. Now we can come in here and select how to take action and let's replace the PDF, select a new file. Let's re upload our document that we made the changes to select close and let's refresh the page. It's currently scanning the file. Let's refresh it one more time. All right. And it now appears that our file is accessible. That concludes today's video on making a slightly more complex agenda accessible to WCAG standards in Word and PDF, and then validating it after we upload it into the Streamline platform. If you want to find out how I can help you get accessible, or if you would like to see Streamline more in depth, check out the links below this video. And as always, I can be your champion for inclusion. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.